iron is nine metal at the bottom, or nine iron bars. Why? Because I am greedy. That's obsidian. That means there's lava down here. If I were to bother bother to dig. Which I'm not going to because I don't care to. Just throwing up torches. But yeah, that's what I mean. This complex is ridiculously huge. Doesn't look like I've been too far up here either. some of the places I have and have yet to explore here. This is right next to my exit, or entrance as you would either way, but there's a system right here that I have yet to actually go through. But this is where all the monsters I keep hearing when I'm coming and going from are anything nice hidden behind it because sometimes there will be a large amount of coal sitting right in between me and some iron. Let's see. Hey, I have sticks on me. That's surprisingly useful. I should do that normally just when I come here carry a bunch of sticks on me. But yeah, just ridiculously big expansive cave system up here that I found just by randomly walking off and then saying, hey, there's a big hole in that mountain. I'm going to go explore it. And this is my entrance and exit. Ooh, darn. Um. And the fun part. Going to hell. Really, really annoying, annoying sound effects. Sound effects. Ah, uh, this part is horrible. Absolutely horrible. I've, I've built a portal to the nether worlds to try to, you know, have some fun out here and they give me absolute crap to work with. I am buried underneath the lava pools in the netherworld. Um, if I dig down... Well, if I dig down, I will hit cobblestone, or not cobblestone, um, I will hit bedrock. There's bedrock. How close I am to it. If I dig up, I hit lava. I am buried underneath lava right on the um, bedrock bed. I will make sure I don't die here. There's lava. Um, I have wandered out around a big cave system around here trying to find a way out. There is lava above me in every direction. So this is so this portal is completely useless. Okay. So 
of this portal is completely useless, except for the fun little fact that no matter where I build a portal, that is where that I, I um, in the Netherworld, that is the only portal I can go through. I have built four portals um, out here in the outside world, and each of them linked to that portal in the Nether region. Um, I have destroyed that portal in the Nether region, built the exit, and come out here. So um, every portal I have in this world links to that one in the nethers which me and that one in the nethers always sends me through that one that was buried in the middle of the water um, so um, the nethers regions in this area was a complete bust because I go there and I'm buried between lava and bedrock and um, I can't. And every portal I build here in the outside world goes to that one portal that's buried between lava and bedrock. But it does make a very convenient fast travel to get back to my house. So I can walk very far distances, make it, um, find huge cave systems, um, find huge cave systems awesome. Gotta love when there's just ten sheep outside my house. Um, but yeah, I can, I can abuse that to make portals, um, a fast travel system to get here. Unlike in my, um, other world where I use fast, the portals as a fast travel system to get really, really far away from my base. I can't do that here because, um, I can't, <laughs> I've built other portals in the nether regions and they all led back to the one underwater here. Uh, right, have I? I don't think I have. I may go back to the nether regions, go a distance, and then put up another portal. See what happens then. But all the portals I put here lead me to that, to this one that was underwater. My first portal was there, up on the top of the mountain overlooking my house. Or cliff, overlooking my house. And um, the exit was underwater, way over there. And then, no matter um, what portals I've used out here, which I have built several, this is just another short distance to a, another cave. But that cave linked up with my original cave to here. So yeah, over in the water, that cave links up to this cave on this side, which is a little annoying. Which is why, of course, I went and decided to go a very long distance before um, digging down again to try to actually make a secondary cave. So the cave back there links up with the caves over here, which links up with the cave or the sand pit way over there beyond Mario. And to point out, my spawning location is this square here. No. This one. One of these. Anyway. Within here, this is where I spawn. So, that was just a nice, long ramble of my new world, what I've been doing. And, gonna go show off all my resources again, because... I'm, you know, a nerd and proud and want to show off the ridiculous amounts of in-game items I have gotten. Forty blocks of iron. That is, um, 360 iron ingots. So, 
just absolutely insane. I can build. I have enough iron that I can build with it. Don't it? Not a bad texture, and if it weren't for that, I really need it to do other things. Um, and to show off, you know, actually, for those of you who don't know, you can just craft it back and forth. Can't you do that with this? Ooh. That may change things a bit. Well, let's see. If you use these to dye wool, it comes out that color. Or if you just use it on by itself, it comes out this. Not bad. And can I just craft it back? Huh. That may change things. I might just... I don't know. I may have to use that, like, as such. Anyway, yes, as I was saying. That's what's going on in this world, and that's what I've been doing in Minecraft. I haven't really played Minecraft since I last posted videos until the um, update with the wool and um, the squid and the ink and cake and everything else came out. That was all busy playing StarCraft and my friend's like, hey, did you know Minecraft's had, an, had another really big update? Yeah, they had, they had all this cool stuff, so I had to come back and see what it was all about. But, yeah. So, and of course, as soon as I came in to see what they have, I got addicted to it immediately again. Yeah. Oh, well. It's a fun game. Okay, that's my video. Thanks for watching. Leave comments. They're useful. They actually affect what I do. Sorry about the sound being bad because I believe it's all coming out of your left speaker. Um, that's just this mic that I'm using. It's not very good. Anyway, um, bye. Nope, no button.